again with a brand new video. Today's video, like the title reads, is about my dorm room experience, aka my roommate from... I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this video, but at this point, I don't really care because it's not like, you know, it's something serious. It's just me sharing my side of things. It's gonna go straight into the video because we have a lot of things to discuss. So I did have to change some of the names except for one person because that one person I'm still cool with. So the first person that I'm going to talk about is, her name is going to be Kate. She's not really an important piece of this story. She is who I'm going to start off with because she was originally supposed to be my roommate called my actual roommate Amber and then my potential roommate who I was supposed to be in a room with um, her name is going to be Kate. For whenever you usually sign up to go to college or whenever you sign up to get a roommate they're gonna put you in like a matching system depending on your major your activities your hobbies all types of things like that. Matching with someone named Kate. Actually just exchanging you know different things about each other. It actually clicked very well. Once I got to the school um, Things had changed for the worst. Literally the day of, I was supposed to move in, I got an email from the housing office and they told me that Kate would not be my roommate, it would be another person. So I immediately called them and asked them who my roommate would be, am I still in the same room? They were like, yes, you're still in the same room, but um, for some reason our system got messed up and Kate would no longer be attending this school. Kate didn't even tell me, like literally the night before, she was so excited, like we were texting. She literally fell out the face of the earth, so. I hope she's okay. I just thought about that. Like, I really hope that girl is safe. Of getting to the school, well, in that dorm it was co-ed. I was on the second floor with all girls. When you walk onto the floor that you're on, on the doors, there's like names of everybody that's in that room. So my door was all the way at the end, and I was the second to the last door, and it said Jordan, which is me, and Amber. And I was like, okay keep in mind i talked to kate this whole time so i'm only used to kate you know i was still a little nervous because my personality is like introverted depending on who i'm around and i didn't know any of these people so i was just like mm, it's kind of awkward kind of weird i was like this is what comes with having a roommate I was kind of optimistic at the same time two days had passed by my mother my family everybody had left um, I forgot to mention Amber's stuff was already there because she was there in the fall so all her things were already put together so she comes in and she's like hey I'm Amber nice to meet you I'm like hi so we're just getting to know each other literally talking about the same things me and Kate talking about we're basically interviewing each other and then she pulls out her phone she's like hey she calls up her friend from um, back home and supposedly her friend from back home they had went to the same high school together so she's like hey come down I'm here I'm like oh well I guess she's you know introducing new people i mean i guess i'm about to meet some more people so she gets up to open the door and it is two girls which i'm going to call them one of them i'm going to keep their names um her name is robin i'm going to link her channel down in the description box so you can go check out her channel other girl's name i'm gonna call her paris me and paris so robin is like hey this is my roommate paris i'm like oh hi nice to meet you we're just talking same thing you know getting to know each other everything was good everything was cool nothing crazy right off the bat right off the bat i didn't get any bad vibes i was just chilling like it was cool it was a cool vibe um they asked us if y'all would like to they were on the third floor so they were above us they were like y'all want to come up to our floor i actually liked it a lot more um i don't know why i just did i got a better vibe up there second floor was kind of like gloomy the lights was kind of dim like it just it I don't know I just didn't it was just something about second floor I just didn't like I also forgot to mention me and Amber's room it was a back view so we literally were facing the back of the dorm there was no sunlight there was no nothing and I'm the type of person where I want a little bit of sunlight in the room not gonna lie gloomy and darkness reminds me of sadness and just you're supposed to be having fun in college this was strike one for Amber and I was getting on my clothes to take my shower and she came up to me and she's like she's like right behind me and she's like what are you about to do and I'm like I'm about to take a shower and she was like oh okay so she's asking me more and more questions and I'm just like, yeah, I'm about to go take a shower. I'm not saying she was like all up on me, but she was like close to it. Everything's good for the rest of the night. The next morning, um, I catch up with Robin because our classes were literally going the same way and we had the same time. And I kind of told her about it a little bit and she was just like, you know, maybe she just, 
is maybe she's happy that you're here in the back of my mind i was kind of wondering like why didn't she have a roommate like did her roommate graduate like did her roommate move out like why doesn't she have one because everybody else had a roommate already because like i said i came in during the spring where it's i think it's like a thursday or friday no one's in class it's like nighttime, and we all come back from the cast so it's me robin and amber and we go into the lounge and all of a sudden all these people come in we were talking to people we're meeting guys we're talking to guys just getting to know other people in the dorm i don't know how we got on this topic i don't know if we was playing a game or what the problem was but somebody was asking like how many kids do y'all want one day and me it came to my turn and i was just like i just want four to six so everybody was like okay that's cool like you want a big family except for amber so amber's like looking at me she's like girl you want that many kids she's talking loud like everybody was just like looking like oh snap like why is she getting so loud she's like you want that many kids you can't do that you're not gonna be able to support yourself you're not gonna be able to do this you're not gonna be able to do that i'm like you don't know what I got planned for myself. Like, don't try to tell me what I can and cannot do. Like, of course, I'm not going to be in a situation to where I'm going to just lay down and have four to six kids and not be able to support myself. No, that's not my plan. Like, girl, no, don't try to paint that picture. Don't try to paint that picture on me. Maybe it works out for you, but it's not me. I understand you don't know me that well, but you know i don't i don't get down like that we're still sitting in the lounge and i think like the games were like indie she just looks over me she's like hey jordan what if one night i'm just standing over you in your sleep and now you're trying it now now you're trying it now you're trying it strike three when i tell y'all i was so irritated like i feel like at that point she was just trying me on purpose because it was just like things like one thing after another like she was just always in my space like it's not that I'm just a mean person it's just I like my space and being in a dorm you don't really have space so I kind of expected it but I didn't expect it to be like that long story short I ended up telling um Amber that I would be moving to a different dorm Robin and Paris did not have a suite mate so they didn't have anybody on the side of them that shared a bathroom with them so robin was like why don't you just move in next to us and i was like you know that's a good idea i should just move in right next to y'all so i ended up telling amber the news or whatever and she was acting cool she was like okay that's fine you know that's fine i, I don't have a problem with that I told her you know we can still be friends but we just can't be roommates like i knew that if i moved into that other room i knew i probably was going to get a whole new roommate but at that point i didn't even care because my anxiety and i just i just wasn't comfortable point blank period i wasn't comfortable and everybody saw that i wasn't there were some guys that like had helped me move my stuff up from the second floor to the third floor paris and amber had clicked like that and me and robin had kind of like clicked but we were still you know talking to each one of paris comes over and she's like hey what are you doing i'm like oh i i'm moving into this room and she's like why so I kind of told her what happened and kind of went down and I told y'all her and Amber are like this. They also had their same birthday. They had the exact same birthday, which was crazy. So she comes over to me. She's like, oh, okay, I guess. And so I was like, is there a problem? She was like, no, it's not a problem. I mean, I understand what you're going through. You know, I have anxiety myself, so I understand. I thought I was good, everybody. I feel more comfortable now. I can start you know venturing out meeting new people comfortably still um moving in my stuff this guy comes up to me well not a random guy but he actually helped me move in and so he's like i don't know how to tell you this but i overheard paris and amber talking about you i'm like what did they say so he was like paris was basically talking bad about you saying that you know what you did was stupid oh, she didn't have that same energy with me when i had told her what happened she was all for it she supported me she was happy i was i was now her neighbor so i was just confused i was like oh okay i really just swept it underneath the rug and i was just like okay whatever i'm gonna just keep that in mind for later on so that was strike one with her a month or two had passed by and this story kind of doesn't have anything to do with me, but it kind of did have something to do with like the whole group falling out. There was this guy, he lived in our dorm and Robin actually thought he, you know, was attractive. She was interested in him. She would talk about him like every single time she seen him, be like, oh my God, he's so cute. I'm gonna get Snapchat. She so everybody in the group had knew it. Like everybody knew like, you know, that's who Robin gonna try to go after. So tell me why, tell me why y'all. Paris decides to go after him. One day we were sitting in the lounge. The guy comes in to warm up his food. Robin speaks to him. She's like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey. 
And I don't remember how exactly the story went, but I just remember we were all sitting in the lounge. He came and sat by us and talked to us. And Paris comes up and she literally swipes in and scoops him up. Start talking, they start having things in common. They start giggling and talking. Next thing you know, they get up and keep in mind, uh, Paris and Robin's room, um, their door is the loudest door in the hall. So you know, you can hear when they go into their room. You hear everything. So while everyone else's door closes soft, theirs is the one that closes hard. They get up, Paris and the guy, we're gonna call him Roger. Paris and Roger get up and they go into the room. Like, wow. I asked Robin, I was like, is there anything going on between y'all? Like, you know, what's the problem? Even Amber was surprised. She was like, you know, I didn't expect her to do that. But I think we ended up going back in the room, into their room and automatically Paris and Roger got up and was like, you know, let's go to my, well, I didn't hear them say it, but I knew that's where they were going. So they had ended up going to hit back to his room and they stayed the night till three to 4 a.m. in the morning. Are you serious? Like you knew that this girl had a thing for this guy or you just knew that she was interested in him for that time and you go in and swoop in and try to, it was just weird to me. This whole experience was weird. So long story short, Paris and Robin had ended up falling out. How me and Paris's fallout had happened was, Robin ended up confronting Paris about the issue and they were in the restroom talking about it and my door just happened to be open because I'm nosy. So she's confronting her, she's like, you know, I didn't appreciate what you did. Like that was really messed up. Basically Paris's answer was just like, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. I just think he's a really good friend. So she goes and says, you know, Jordan, if there's anything that you need to say, you need to say right now. And she was like, your door is wide open. So is there anything that you need to say? I can have my door open if I want to, because this is my door. You don't pay for this door. You don't pay for that door. So that was basically, the end of the group basically it was just me robin and amber left so their birthday had came up and we me robin and some other girls we're gonna call them stacy and tina and moral of this whole story is i don't get along with girl groups never have i don't think i ever will don't like the whole click thing and we had all thought it was a great idea to get um amber a cake we all got her together um she wanted to have a birthday dinner so i don't remember where we had a dinner at. Amber and Paris were still friends. Amber had reached out to Paris and was like, hey, do you wanna come? Like we could have a conjoined birthday celebration, birthday dinner since we have the same birthday. And Paris was like, I'm down, let's do that. So Paris had ended up saying, I'm gonna invite my friends, you invite your friends. Um, we got to the Chili's and Paris is nowhere to be found. We see Paris on everybody's Snapchat. Where are you at? You're supposed to be here by now. We're calling, well, I didn't call her, but Ooh. Amber's on the phone with her. Well, trying to call her, trying to get in touch with her. And like every time we were around some guys or just every time we was around people, period. She wanted to be the center of attention 24 seven. She wanted to be the first person to walk in. She just wanted all eyes on her. I didn't like that. I wasn't down with that. Back to the birthday dinner. She came, The I think maybe the last 15 minutes of the party and she came around the time where we had already eaten our food and the cake was coming out and she didn't get in touch with amber to let them know you know hey i wanted to have a birthday cake too we was all singing happy birthday to amber none of her friends was there like nobody was there to support her on her side so it was like everything that i did in that group was a problem it never was just like oh we all collectively did something wrong. No, every single time I did something, it was an issue. Now that I look back on it, I'm kind of happy that I'm in a better place and I met better people in my life. On a serious note, I hope everybody in this story is doing well in their lives. I hope that they are prospering. I hope that they're, you know, achieving all their dreams and doing everything that they want to do. Really hope and wish them the best. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. There will be more story times in the future. But for now, that is all that I can give you at the moment. Hopefully you guys will give me a big like and hopefully you hit that subscribe button, share with all your friends and turn your post notifications on. That's all for today. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay inside, stay clean and stay well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. That was so cringy.